library. First up, I want to encourage everybody to sign up for summer reading. Even though we all can't be in the building at the same time, we are still running summer reading online. So sign up at this URL and um, you can start reading and doing fun activities and earning badges and prizes all summer long. It's for everyone, kids and adults. So we hope lots of people participate this summer. All right, let's get to our great summer picks for your reading lists. These are good recommendations for kids all the way from kindergarten to fifth grade. First up, I wanna recommend Our Friend Hedgehog, The Story of Us by Lauren Castillo. Hedgehog and Muddy are best friends and they live together on this safe little island when one day a great gust of wind whooshes Muddy away Hedgehog is devastated, of course, but after she dries her tears, she decides that she's going to rescue Muddy and bring him back to her. So she leaves her safe little island and goes on an adventure to try to find Muddy. And on the way, she'll meet all kinds of little critters who will help her on her quest. This book is perfect for kids who are just learning to become independent chapter book readers. It's got beautiful full color illustration, a really charming, gentle adventure that kids and families are gonna love. All right, next up is Ways to Make Sunshine by Renee Watson. Some people might tease Ryan for having a boy's name, but Ryan knows that her name is special. It means king. But lately it's been very hard to live up to that royal sounding name that her parents gave her. She's got a lot of things going on. First up, she's having a hard time adjusting to her new house, which isn't new at all. It's old and rickety and nothing like where she used to live. But her family had to move into this house because her father lost his job. Another thing that's worrying Ryan is having to give a completely memorized speech in front of her entire church for Easter. And finally, she's worried about the last day of school talent show. She knows she's good at something. She's good at cooking. She's good at being a friend, but it's hard to do those things on a stage for a talent show. So she's having a hard time thinking of what she's gonna do for that. Ryan's sky seems like it's full of clouds. So Ryan has to figure out how to make her own sunshine to brighten her life and the life of her families too. This is a really great family story with a little bit of humor and a lot of heart. If you like other good family stories like the books about Ramona Quimby, this might be a great choice for you. Okay, now for something completely ridiculous. I've got this one in real life. Stink Bomb and Ketchup Face and the Badness of Badgers. One day, Stink Bomb discovers that a $20 bill is missing from his piggy bank. Ketchup Face thinks it must be the Badgers. Badgers are bad, otherwise they'd just be called jurors, right? Well, with this idea in mind, Stink Bomb and Ketchup Face set off on a quest through the kingdom of Great Kerfuffle they rescue a wayward shopping cart named Eric. They meet a king named King Toothbrush Weasel? What? And they compose a rather long and annoying song called Blueberry Jam. Eventually they will meet those bad badgers who may or may not have actually stolen Stink Bomb's $20 bill. If you like really funny zany books that are not serious at all, I definitely recommend Stink Bomb and Ketchup Face. They have three books so far. All right, next I have Linda Sue Park's brand new book, Prairie Lotus. Linda Sue Park is the author of many great books, including A Single Shard. In this book, we meet Hannah. Hannah and her father have just arrived in the developing town of La Forge in the Dakota Territory. And her father wants her to act a certain way. Use only the back streets, keep your head down, wear a bonnet that covers your face, even in school, at least for a while. Papa doesn't want any trouble. And trouble usually follows when people discover that his daughter Hannah is half Chinese. 
Sure enough, when Hannah's identity becomes known, people start holding their children back from school, outraged that a Chinese person be educated along with their kids. The people who aren't just ignoring Hannah say misinformed, ignorant, or even cruel things to her. Hannah knows that her father doesn't want to make a ruckus, but Hannah is really angry at the unfairness of her life. When Hannah's mother was alive, she made her feel proud of her dual heritage, but now she's expected to be ashamed of who she is, who her mother was. All she wants is the same things that everybody wants. She wants friendships, an education, a career someday, but she's gonna have to work twice as hard as everyone else to get those things. Wow, this book is really fantastic. The author does such a great job of creating a character you root for the whole way through. This is a book that's really gonna make you think a lot about our world. All right, I've got one more pick for you and it's The Rhino in Right Field by Stacy DeKeyser. It's 1948 in Milwaukee and all young Nick Spiracus wants is to play baseball. Well, that's easier said than done. For one thing, his pop insists that he help at the shoe and hat store that his father runs every Saturday, even though all the other kids in his gang run out to the field every Saturday to play pickup ball. Even when Nick is available to join them though, the field isn't ideal, mainly as the title and cover would suggest, there is a rhino dangerously close to right field. The city zoo is right in the middle of the best place to play ball and a really low wall is all that separate the kids from this 2,000 pound behemoth. So when the new owner of the city's minor league team, the Mud Puppies, announces a contest to crown one lucky boy, Mud Puppy for a day, Nick is ecstatic at the chance to play some real ball in a real stadium but it's gonna take a lot of practice and more than a little scheming around his parents in order to make the competition. This book was so much fun, a great baseball read, a great summer read, really funny, and um, I hope you'll enjoy it. All these books are available as eBooks on Overdrive. I'll go ahead and put the links in our description below. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you all have a great summer and keep up with all of our programs and book talks and other fun things that we're doing from home. And um, happy reading, everybody. Bye.